Alright, hey, what's up, guys? Rudlinel here, back again with another batch tutorial, and we're still looking at some networking commands. So, uh, this one's gonna be quick and easy, and all I'll see, just because I don't really have a whole lot to say. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get command line, uh, command prompt, open anyway, cmd.exe, command.com, the Windows command shell, whatever you want to call it, and the command that I'm very quickly gonna be breezing over is something called ipconfig. Now, ipconfig, what this will do is tell you a good lot of information about all of your connected internet protocol, like, sort of devices. Your network card, your the, the adapters that allow you, your physical machine, your computer, to browse the internet, that sort of thing. And um, the most valuable piece of information that you'll likely get from this command is actually your computer's specific local IP address. And you can see that right up here, for me anyway, with the... Uh, IPv4 address, and you can scroll over here, and that's 192.168.1.13, specifically for this computer on my end of the world. Now, IPv4, we are currently in version 4 of the internet protocol. Um, the, I think it was IEEE Internet Electrical Engineering something, whatever it is, they want to get a new standard for internet protocol version 6, which is, should be faster and easier to maintain primarily because we're running out of version 4 internet protocol addresses, but anyway, that's a whole different can of worms. We don't need to bother with that right now, but that's why there is the v4. It's, all it typically is is your IP address. That's all you need to worry about. But anyway, that's IP config. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at it in greater detail because there's a whole lot to do here. If I actually scroll up, you can see the usage here has a whole bunch of uh, information about options. You can renew and release some certain um, adapters and versions that will sort of like reset the current settings, that sort of thing. So identifications, a bunch of crazy stuff that in all honesty, I don't know the slightest bit about. <laughs> and because uh, I really don't want to be creating like all that much of an in-depth video on it because I can't tell you all the information that you probably need to know. So for me, I take my role as at least this video creator. What I want to be introducing you, that's at least sorry, that's exactly what I want to be telling you, is that I'm only here to introduce this to you. What you can do if you want to learn more about this is you can go ahead and research it. You can go ahead and have that spark and that curiosity that comes with learning something new to go ahead and learn about this command a little bit more. So I've got uh, this idea that you can connect and find your IP address with it, or at least your local IP address. You can throw in a couple flags, like some pretty simple ones that will just show you more information, and that sort of thing, but that's all there is to it that I can show you. There isn't a whole lot to do with it, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, it's pretty simple. All it is is finding your simple local IP address, but that's pretty handy, especially if you're like holding local LAN parties and just goofing off with some of your friends playing some cool video games, you're going to need that IP address. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, guys. I know it's pretty simple, quick, and easy, but hey, I just want to introduce it to you guys. It's all up to you if you want to go further and further with your learning here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I've said that way too many times this video in this entire batch series, but it'd be cool if you could like the video, maybe comment, maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do. But I'll see you again in a later tutorial. Bye.